Number three, pyridine is an aromatic compound. The reason pyridine is aromatic is because it fulfills the four conditions of aromaticity. Condition number one, the molecule should be cyclic. In pyridine, the first carbon atom is attached to the fifth carbon atom. That means pyridine is a cyclic molecule. Condition number two, the molecule should be planar. If you look at the structure of pyridine, each of the carbon atoms of pyridine is a doubly bonded carbon atom. For a double bond to appear between two carbon atoms, the two carbon atoms should undergo sp2 hybridization and there should be an unhybridized p orbital in each of the carbon atom such that they overlap and form the pi bond or the double bond. As there are five doubly bonded carbon atoms, that would only mean that there are five sp2 hybridized carbon atom. Now, after a carbon atom undergoes sp2 hybridization, the groups that are attached to the carbon atom, they assume the farthest positions available in space. And that would lead to a triagonal planar geometry around the central sp2 hybridized carbon atom. Now each of the five carbon atom which is an sp2 hybridized carbon atom have this triagonal planar geometry. That would only mean that the carbon and the hydrogen that are attached to it are in one single plane. That means the molecule of pyridine is a planar molecule. Condition number three, the molecule should be conjugated. As we can see, after every double bond, there appears a single bond. The molecule of pyridine is no doubt conjugated. Secondly, there is a possibility that the pi electron may get delocalized to the adjacent position. If it de gets delocalized, that would mean that the molecule is aromatic. But does that delocalization takes place? For this, we have to apply Huckel's rule. Huckel rule is 4n plus 2 pi rule. You write 4n plus 2 is equal to 6 resonating electron. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 resonating electrons of the pyridine. 4n plus 2 is equal to 6. Subtract 2 on both sides. That would lead to 4n is equal to 4. n is equal to 4 by 4 which is 1. 1 is not important. What is important is n is not a fraction but a whole number. If you get n as a whole number, that would mean that the molecule under consideration is compliant with Huckel's rule. That is, delocalization occurs in the molecule and that is that the molecule is aromatic. That means pyridine here has been proved as aromatic.